If you're looking for a wonderful prayer journal, the Write the Process Prayer Journal is perfect for you. This mini workbook, Prayer Journal for Women, is a guided prayer journal and devotional, which includes prayer requests, personal reflections, prompts to take action, motivational activities, and journaling space to record your personal process through prayer to strengthen your faith and intimacy with God. It will motivate and inspire women just like you to write and pray to God every day. It offers another beautiful way to pray with personal devotions, prayer requests, reflections, and a lot more. Get your copy of Write the Process Prayer Journal online at theprocesslife.com slash shop. Share the link on all of your social media so your friends can get their copy too. Theprocesslife.com slash shop. This concept of my fault, it could be applied in every area of your life. Mm. Because if God wants to be a part of the decision. Matter of fact, he wants to be the decision maker. He wants to be a part. Because every area of your life, he wants glory. That's why he created you. The vessel to bring him glory. For other people to come to know who he is. But so many times we're consumed with what we want. We're consumed with the job we want. We're consumed with the career we want. We're consumed with the business that we want. We're consumed with the school we want to go to, mm-hmm. the college we want to go to, how we want to help, mm. how we want to serve. God said, get me out of the box, will you? We have said we can only serve God like this. If you're not a part of a building, you can't serve God. God said, no, 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 I'm no. bigger than the building. Right. We only can get educated by going to this college, this institution. God said, no. do you know I can educate you online? Come on, man. I can educate you walking down the street. Stop putting me in a box. I want you to see the desires of your heart, but my desires haven't been met yet through you. See, see we have put our desires before God's desires. But when, what, what, what we forget to understand is that if we align ourselves, in God and where he wants and his desires when his desires becomes our desires don't you know our desires will be manifested (laughs) see we've taken the focus off of off of self yeah and we can put the focus on God yeah and don't you understand that when God gives you an assignment and we obey. We ain't got to like it. Nobody's saying you got to like it. Because most of the time you don't like it until you start doing it. And then you say, oh, okay, God, I got you so smart. You got this. But can you imagine doing what God has told you to do? And then in turn, inevitably, mm-hmm. we start reaping the benefits of our obedience of something we didn't even want to do in the first place. Yeah. Like, whoop. There it is. I wish I would have been obedient a long time ago. Whoop! You mean <coughs> Tito came after I decided I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to obey and stop dating. Mm. I don't understand that, God. But okay. I took him out of the box. See, the world has put things in these compartments. Control. And so that's how we start living in our spiritual life. Because we've been molded and shaped that it has to look like this. If I wouldn't have gone to college, I could have got a trade. And guess what? The trade, I could have been making money with the trade and not paying a loan from these dang old. I'm just using this. This is what we do. We put God in the box. God said, you can do it your way, the hard way, or do it my way, the easier way. I didn't even say easy, easier. There's a difference. Yeah. See, there's a wrong way in this process. There's a right and a there's wrong a right way. way in this process, and there's a God way. Well, Marshall, what's the difference between God and the right way? We know what wrong is. That's obvious. Right what way, about right you, so and, and God? I'm glad you asked. They asked. The right way is what you think is right. Yeah. It ain't hurting nobody. It might even be a sin. But it's not what God told you to do. It's what you wanted to do because you're thinking you were helping somebody. Oh, Oh, I'm helping. That's so sweet. That's so right. You got the right heart. 
God said, I didn't tell you to do that. Mm -hmm. See, see, people got got killed by doing things with the right intention. Remember the guy? He was trying you know, to protect the arch from falling, and he went to go protect it from falling, and God smacked Uzzah. Uzzah. He got smacked down. <coughs> Good intentions can get you killed. What did God say? See, that's the right way. It's your way, and it ain't hurt nobody, and you got good intentions. But what's God's way? Because see, your way, the right way, is to give you glory. Uh -huh. God's way is to get Him glory yeah. out of your obedience. There's a, difference. There's a difference. A lot of us are stuck. We graduate from the wrong way. We know what not to do. That's sin. Oh my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We got that part. A lot of us are stuck in the right way. Yeah. And we're, wondering God, why, God. and we're wondering why nothing is happening our way. Why do you think you're stuck in the right way? Because we think this is right. So why God isn't blessing me? Because I'm doing right. I'm feeding the hungry. Uh -oh. I'm doing this. Uh -oh. I'm so doing you mean, that. So you mean the works. right way is to them I'm is doing works. God is saying, while you over there feeding that hungry, mm -hmm. I told you to go over there and close that naked. Yeah. Which one you gonna do? Right. I, I told you to go and help Betty that's on the side of the road, but you try and go help Susie at the church. Yeah. It's all about listening and obeying God. Am, am I am I a lot of times, me? Can I say this, babe? A lot of times what you so what you're saying is that a lot of times we get so caught up into the normal way of what we think doing the right thing is right based on what we've been taught yeah right right based on what has been embodied in our mind and what we have been hearing right 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 why because we attend our ears to a certain person that we're thinking that they're teaching us the right thing right okay because so, they don't know either they, they've been they, they've been taught the same way and it's a generational teaching it's a passed down generational bondage program yeah programming the mind so you're saying that because of that, a lot of people, which we experience that too. You limit it. You're limiting God from doing what, from he, what he really wants to do in you and through you mm -hmm. based on what you have allowed yourself to be programmed to do what the right thing is. Exactly. So now you're walking in that, oh, as long as I do this here, I do yeah. that there, but you will never see the results of being rewarded for that. Prime example, babe. Mm. This week, <coughs> yes. God dealt with me. Uh -huh. and I shared it with him. We were thinking divine wanted to, you know, she loves animals, right? Right, right. So Absolutely. the first thing we thought, oh, she going to be a veterinarian. So therefore, we introduced her to be a vet. So now she wants to be a vet. Why? Because parents said, you like, you like pets? You like pets? So, okay, veterinarian. See how, see how you, pets, veterinarian. God has so many different options, right? Because he was trying to force her to do things that we technically thought she should be doing, like tennis. Divine, why you don't like, she liked tennis, but she, we just she found like out right. she likes it for fun. Uh -huh. She ain't trying to be no pro. She's pro. not trying to be That's Serena it. and Venus. Right. But the parents thought, come on, Divine, why are you acting like that, Divine? Come on, Divine. That because we, we misinterpret her her joy of doing it for fun. Right. We thought it was for her wanting to do right. it as a profession. She so, never said that. I'm gonna shout. Okay, God, this is your child. <coughs> You've created her for something. We don't know what that's exactly. Is. Exactly. We think we know, but in these little old fun, little yeah. finite minds, no, we don't know. What is that thing? He said. What brings her joy? What does she do? That she loves to do all the time. Absolutely. Put those things together, and there it is. She will become successful because of her passion yeah. already, not because she's trying to get passion to do it. The passion will already be there. What God has for you, it's already there. It's already you don't there. have to go looking for nope. it. Nope. Right? It's when we try to shape what yeah. that is, yeah. is where we go wrong. Yeah. Right? So I said, Well, God, she loves these videos, but dog. That's all she like to do, but she also loved animals. And then I said, oh, if I take her out to start videoing animals and I'm putting two of her passions together, that's not a vet. Can you imagine a videographer with their own business 
selling pictures and videos of animals outside of what the norm, outside of a veterinarian, something different. God has something unique for right. his children. That's right. It shouldn't look like the world. <coughs> it shouldn't act like the world. Nope. He's a very unique God. There's no one like him. Mm -hmm. So why would his children not mimic him? If we are created in his image, baby, then everything that we do should be unique. It should be glorious. And when people look at you, they will say, dog, something's different. I've never seen that That's before. Right. Have you ever noticed two people doing the same exact thing, but one is more successful than the other? That's because the one is doing it on their own and the other one has been anointed and gifted to do that. That's right. Absolutely. Prosperity comes where the anointing flows. Yeah. Not where you flow to try to find the anointing. It don't work like that. Preach it, Miss Marshall. Come on, girl. Preach it. Hot dog it. Woo! So we... Growing up, we have put ourselves, I got to go to college. Yes. I got to major in that because somebody I sent you a video me, of what Elon Musk said. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, yes. I'm just telling you. We're like, you know what? Everybody's not supposed to be in the cage called a school. Come on now. They're supposed to be educated because God said, if everybody is doing it, question it. It's not the narrow road. If the majority is going left, you need to go right. If the majority is going left and right, go straight. That's how billionaires are created. It's millionaires are created. One, it's only it's one percent. It's always something different that they're doing against the norm. They're not. They are not college graduates. They're basically created something that they like doing, yep. and they stuck with it. And next thing you know, boom. No one heard about Facebook. No one Nobody. knew about no Facebook. <laughs> no one knew about this, this phone that we can take everywhere. And Regardless of the intentions and the motives behind right. it. Everything starts off, I believe, with a good with a, pure right, motive, right, okay? Right. But it starts to become tainted. When, when you don't and have perverted. the Holy Spirit right. living in you. Absolutely. So think about why if you have started to do something and you are hitting brick walls, relationships, brick wall, marriage, brick wall. Why I'm not getting married, I got engaged and get married, brick wall. Trying to get this job, I didn't get it. What you mean? I don't get that promotion. Trying to start this business, it failed. Why? Why? Step back and ask, okay, God, I know you told me to do this, but I forgot to ask you how, and I forgot to ask you when. when. There it is. You're doing the right thing, <coughs> but you're not doing the God thing. Right. You got to ask questions. I was telling Divine this morning, I said, don't just stop at the statement. Probe. Ask the questions. Because you get in trouble when you just stop at what you hear. Imagine this. What if I came to you and said, oh my God, I cannot believe she just killed that man. And I left it like that. All these prejudgments, all these things start running through your head. Oh my God, how can she do something like that? But if you ask the why, why did she do that? Oh, he was trying to kidnap her daughter. You see how that shift just that quick? You see how that just shift? Oh, he was trying to assault her. Oh, self-defense. Oh, you see? How we can misjudge a situation mm -hmm. without having all the information. Yeah. You cannot. And this is how social media get us to. We hear one. And this is my new thing. If I don't hear from the host's mouth, I don't believe nothing. <coughs> there is a scripture. It says that he who answers a matter before he hears it, it is shame and folly unto him. Meaning that when you answer a matter before you know the whole, whole story. story. And before you get an understanding, and then you answer all of that right. and all your opinion on this, right. it's gonna be shame and folly into right. you because then you're gonna find out that it's not what it what you thought it was. And we wanna blame God when it doesn't work. God said, No, no, no. I told you <coughs> to do X. You did X and you added the Y and the Z. Mm. I didn't ask you to do that. I say do X. And I'll make Y and Z come into play. Yeah. You're trying to do too much, and you're trying to do it your way. God is saying, no, yes, 
You're going to get married, but you forgot to say the wedding. Oh, what you mean 10 years from now? What you mean 12 years from now? What? So then we, we in this relationship and we thinking that's God. God said, yeah, but that's not who you're going to be with. We, we don't ask, okay, God, where am I supposed to go? What you want me to be? You want me to be a, a doctor? Okay, I can be a doctor. What kind? How? When? Where? Just because it's a doctor. This, this, can I say that? Just because it's a doctor, it doesn't have to be based on what society say you adopt, what makes you a doctor. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. as soon as you said that, I'm thinking in my mind, like, yeah, go to eight, eight year school. But then the Holy Spirit, like, no. Just because, just because you, okay, just because they call you a doctor. Do you think a pharmacist is a doctor? No, I just think they're pharmacists from what I was told. But they, they're doctors. But I'm just saying, like, okay. I'm just saying. But to, what if I would have said, what kind of doctor? And what if I'm sorry, what if I would have not said, what kind of doctor? And I would have went in. This field trying to figure out what kind of doctor. Well, what I'm what I'm saying is this: just because they say that when you do this and you do that, that makes you a doctor. But then I, you are already they, a doctor. That's you what are. Already, that's what I'm trying to say. You are already a doctor, right. based on they're saying that you got to be educated. Right. You have to go through this extensive amount of training. Right. You have to go to this type of school. Okay. Prime example. But it's still, everything is still research. Am I right? You're right. Okay. So if I was to do extensive research, okay, mm -hmm. if I was to do extensive research like they do, if I would read all the books on how to do this and how to do that, and if I would practice this and practice well, they that. They do that. It's called practitioners. They all practice. right then. So does that make me a doctor or a practitioner? Or just because I don't have the piece of paper to say that, well, because Those you... Those are the credentials of the That's Bible. what I'm saying. But in the eyes of God, what credential do you need? Obedience. Obedience. All you got to do is do what he tell you to do, not what they say. Whoever yeah, they say. That's, that's what I'm trying you, to get If at. God say go to school, go to school. Right. Ask him where. Ask him how. And you notice the people that do, that that will obey God, 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 God will God line it up. He will guide them. them. He will do everything he has to do, right? 